Each week we want to focus in on something special that's happening somewhere in this vast education system in New York. Something kind of micro that is really a nice story. This week I visited the Williamsburg High School for Architecture and Design. Wow. It's a public um, high school in Williamsburg that 10 years ago didn't have a single teacher that knew anything about architecture and design, despite the title of the school. <laughs> They've overhauled it in the past 10 years, and here's the story. Wow. Designing the lobby of a swanky new hotel, a dream job for many architects. Same for Kanaya Paris, a high school sophomore. And I decided that I wanted to be an architect when I grow up, so I decided I should just do this project because it could give me more experience. Kanaya and other students at the Williamsburg High School for Architecture and Design spent months developing design proposals and blueprints for the first floor of the new Bushwick Hotel, now rising on Siegel Street. The hotel developer, Heritage Equity Partners, sponsored the competition, giving students the chance to create hypothetical designs for a real project. It's real time, right? It's business. So they have, uh, they have, they have deadlines, uh, they have limits to when they can and can't go on to the property itself uh, to do measurements, to inspect it. They need to go online and uh, find the right materials to order. So it's, it's much more intense than, say, uh, kind of a classroom environment. The teenagers did all the work after school and on weekends with an assist from teachers and volunteer architects. They used professional software to develop their proposals which they then pitched to Heritage. They spent a lot of time learning how to do these kinds of designs, how to accept that feedback and that critique and rather than be upset figure out how to make it better for the client because that's what you have to do in this industry. Kanaya from East New York had the winning pitch. Heritage officials were so impressed with her design they gave her $500 and celebrated with a party at their other hotel, the Williamsburg. I was like super nervous the whole time but but yeah, the only thing they said was that I had to speak up. But other than that, everything else was perfect. The competition is an annual project at the school. Most students at architecture and design come from low-income families, and nearly a third have special needs. But over the past decade, the school has built a robust program of paid internships, design competitions, and apprenticeships, backed by an architecture curriculum. We want students to understand what it means to work in these fields so that when they're making decisions about college or jobs in the future, they know what they're getting into. Kanaya said she was surprised at how hard it was, but now she's even more committed to becoming an architect. The school has been tracking its recent graduates and they say they found that the students who participated in these internships and competitions in the real world have been by far their most successful graduates. So it really does seem to work, Cheryl. $500 in high school, that's a big sum of money. I know, and I asked her, it was a surprise. She didn't, she wasn't doing it for money. They yeah. weren't even planning to give her money, but they liked her, her designed so much they thought they should reward her and I asked her what did you do with it and she looked at me like I was crazy and said yeah. I saved it. Yeah, that's what you do. so responsible yeah. though. Yeah, that's excellent. <laughs> now I just want to go back to something else you said. The high school for architect and design started with no one who specialized in architect or design. Yes. But that's changed now. That changed over the past okay. 10 years with its current principal yeah. who came about nine years ago. There's actually a problem citywide with that. We have a lot of schools that have fancy names, and in mm -hmm. some cases, they actually don't have any current curriculum that ties to that name. This was one of those cases. They've totally changed it around. They now have dozens of applicants for every spot. It's become a real success story. That's great.